Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're sharing with you three easy and affordable instant pot recipes. So I'm Kristen. And I'm Kendra. And we are both always looking for easy and affordable dinners because we are both stay at home moms and it's kind of chaotic. So anything that's quick, affordable and tastes good, we're all about. Exactly. <laughs> so if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. So the first recipe that we're making today is our buffalo chicken wings. Now we've been getting a lot of requests yes. for either drumsticks or chicken wings. So we're just going to show you how easy they are to make inside your Instant Pot. So, yes. all right, you want to go first? Yes. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is sprinkle them with all seasoned salt. Yeah. You could also use salt and pepper if you don't have all seasoned salt, but this gives it just a little more variety and a little more flavor. Okay, so once you season one side, flip them, and then you'll season the other. And you can do the same thing with the drumsticks, and you'll actually cook them for the same amount of time, yes. too. So. And these are great for games, appetizers right, coming right. up. <laughs> Super Bowl is coming. My husband <laughs> loves these, so. And they're super quick and easy, and you don't have to slave away because the Instant Pot does all the work. So Exactly. Okay, so I think I've got everything perfect, pretty seasoned. Now we're going to cook them inside of the Instant Pot, but we're going to use like a steamer basket to yes. help us out a little bit. Now if you don't have a steamer basket, um, you can use like the little trivet that came with your Instant Pot, but I like steamer baskets easier because they just have a little handle. Yes. So. Alright, you want to pass the water? Yep. So we're gonna pour, pour right yeah, in. yeah. So we have like a cup of water. And we're just okay. dumping in because we need liquid, so we'll pressurize. And then we'll put the basket right in. And then do you just wanna put the chicken in? Yes. Hey. This is super easy. Now I've lived out of state for a lot of years. And <laughs> this is my first year being home for the Super Bowl. And we are like, so glad. <laughs> As sisters, we let the boys watch the football game. Yes. And we just sit around all the food and, and just eat, eat and talk the whole entire game. <laughs> and, and then at halftime, we go in and we join them. And we watch the commercials. <laughs> and we're more there the for the halftime show. show. We, are. we are. And the food. But most, mostly the food. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we're going to put the lid on. Now, I get a lot of questions. If you're new to the Instant Pot, if you can hear that little jingle as it goes on, that means you did it right. So you just want to make sure your lid is on all the way. And after you put your lid on, you want to turn your knob right then so you won't forget. You're going to turn it to ceiling. There are different kinds of Instant Pots. This one has a pressure cook button. There's also one with a manual button. So we're going to push pressure cook and then it only cooks for about 10 minutes. So you push the little plus button to, to go up. So. Yes. And then we'll wait for that to cook. So once your timer is done, we're going to let it release on its own until oh, about 10 minutes or until the pressure is out. All right, once that little button goes down, you can go ahead and open up your pot. Ooh, they look good and they smell good. Yes, they do. All right, do you just want to pull them out? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're just, we wash the pan, we're going to put them back in, and then we're just going to add some buffalo sauce. But you could also do barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. teriyaki sauce. Right, whatever you like on your wings. Yes. But we like hot sauce. Yes. <laughs> And I'm also all about the sauce. My husband likes the rubs, but I'm like, mm, give the me some of that sauce. Good. Okay. My kids like the barbecue though, because they don't yes. like it being too hot. Too but hot. I'm a fan of all, all sauces. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna flip them over, nice. and then we'll sauce the other side. Fair. All right, just a little sauce, sauce on that guy. Nice. And we're good. Good. All right. Okay. Should we stick them in the oven? Yep, and we're going to broil them for about two minutes. Two minutes or so. Okay. So they're all done cooking, and then we're just going to plate them on, and then we also have a little bit of ranch that you can dip them in as well. Now, if you want more sauce, you can actually take this sauce and like spread it mm -hmm. on a little bit, yeah. or you can just keep it just like this. Mix it around. There we go. And then we just love to dip it in ranch. You don't have to, but I love buffalo sauce dipped in ranch. All right, mm -hmm. we are done with this recipe. Let's go on to recipe number two. So our second recipe is this creamy bacon mac and cheese in your Instant Pot. It's so easy. It's so creamy. It's made with real cheese. And real bacon. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get cooking. Okay. So we, let's see. 
pound, one, one pound, pound of noodles. Now you don't have to use the elbow macaroni noodles. You can use really any kind of shells. pasta, but I yes, like the, shells. the shells. It captures more of the cheese. There. <laughs> that more cheese in every bite. Okay. So we got our noodles. We got our noodles. Then How we much have water? Four cups of water. Cups. Or mostly just until your noodles are like covered. So you just want to make sure all your noodles are covered. If you if they're not covered, that means you don't have enough water. Okay. Okay. Covered. Then we have two tablespoons, two tablespoons of, butter of butter that we're gonna put in right now. And I like that you can put you don't have to like I know, it and mix it. Anything. You just toss just it in. Throwing it. It's a dump recipe. And how much salt? Anywhere like a teaspoon of salt. Okay. If you want to add more, you can. That That's quick it. and easy. That's it. That's all we're gonna do right now. And then we'll add the good stuff when it's done. So okay. you wanna grab the lid for me? Yes. Let's see if I can do this first try. Sometimes it takes me a few tries to get it on right. <gasps> Listen to a ring. Better. Inventing, right. no, sealing. Turn the knob and sealing. Good. And then, so with this recipe, with pasta, it only has to cook for about four minutes. So this is a different kind of Instant Pot. We're gonna do the manual button. And, oh, it's already set. So we're gonna leave it at four minutes. And then once the timer is going, then you just walk away and you're good. All right, so our mac and cheese is all done cooking. So when it's done, the timer will start counting up and you usually turn the knob to venting. But sometimes when you cook like noodles or pasta or anything starchy, your liquid that's in the pot will start to kind of explode. Bubble up a little. Bubble up a little. A little shocking. So when that happens, you can either slowly go to venting and sealing quickly, like little squirts, or you can just let it release on its own um, and keep checking every back few minutes to see if you can turn it to sealing so it'll be safe. So right now, that's what we did. It was kind of exploding a little. Yeah. So we had to go to sealing back and forth so it would work. So, Whoop. but now it is cooked and it's ready. Okay. And the noodles are perfect. They really are. So it takes a second. They kind of cook together, but once you start mixing around, they start coming apart. So why you're mixing that up, I'm gonna put in the other stuff okay. to make it taste Sounds good. good. Okay, so we actually have a big can of evaporated milk. So this is a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. We're actually just gonna use about six ounces of it. So right. I'm just gonna pour about half of it in. Kind of eyeball it, there we go. Once that gets mixed in, we're gonna add our favorite, mm. sharp cheddar cheese. And we're gonna put in two cups. So you can use the pre-shredded kind or you can shred it, of course, yourself. Mm. That's when you so like. Good. We used to have macaroni and cheese all the time growing up, but we had the craft macaroni and yeah. cheese, and it just, it's just not as good. It's not as good. It wasn't until Something I got about that cheese. Yeah, right. It's a little mysterious, right? It wasn't until I got older, like as an adult, as a mom, that I realized, you know, I enjoy macaroni and cheese, but you deserve. The I good deserve stuff. the good stuff. <laughs> so uh, once all the cheese is mixed in, you can go ahead and add in some bacon bits. Now you can buy bacon bits or you can even cook some bacon bits up yourself yes. and stick them in. So that's what we did. We cooked these up earlier and yes. then it just tastes better that it way. It really does. Okay, okay. So here it is, all finished. It's so cheesy, so creamy. And so natural and real. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> it really does. So we're all done with this recipe. Now we're gonna go to recipe number three. So I actually have a video of teriyaki chicken that I've made before but I put in my broccoli at the same time as everything else and it kind of disappeared. <laughs> and so I'm gonna show you how to make it quick and simple with putting in the broccoli in After. later. <laughs> and then also we're using jasmine rice instead of brown rice so you don't have to cook it nearly as long. So, okay, okay let's get cooking. So let's add our rice first. We okay. have like two cups, two cups of jasmine rice. You can use white rice too. There we go. But I love jasmine rice. You know, it is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Rice. Now with rice, when you cook it, you want like, so for every cup of rice, you have one and one fourth cup of liquid. liquid. So that way it won't stick to the bottom of your pot and it, you won't get that lovely burn notice. So if you get the burn notice a lot, go ahead, and add, go ahead and add just a little bit more chicken broth than what I told you to do. So right now we're okay. adding two and, two and a half, half cups. We're gonna add just a little bit, just so we don't get the burn. Okay. Okay. And then our carrots, how much of these do we add? So we added like a cup of carrots. Sometimes I'll even just grab those little bags at the grocery mm -hmm. store that are just the little carrots and just shove them in because yeah. that's a little less, <laughs> less effort. And, and then last thing. we have about two cups of chicken. 
So the chicken is already cooked, ready to go, yes. so we don't have to cook it for nearly as long. So it will make it go by a lot faster. If you have pre-cooked chicken, we love using like rotisserie chickens. Mm -hmm, we do. So it's all cooked, ready. All right, we're gonna put the lid on. And as soon as you put the lid on, you wanna make sure that this little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Now, because we're cooking the rice, we're gonna cook it for seven minutes. So we're gonna push the pressure cook button or manual button, and then just go down to seven minutes. Now, as soon as you set the timer, you can go ahead and walk away. All right, we'll come back when this is done yes. cooking. <laughs> all right, so the chicken and rice, it's all done cooking. So we turned this little knob to venting, let all the steam yes. out as soon as the timer was done. So now we're gonna take the lid off. Ooh. And stir it all together. Stir it all around. That looks so good. There's no burning. There's Yes, we didn't get the burn. <laughs> So, if you always get the burn, make sure to add a little bit more chicken broth so you don't have issues. Okay, and the carrots are soft too. So good, good. Perfect. Now, my secret tip to this. So while this was cooking, we went and steamed our broccoli yes. on the side so it wouldn't like disintegrate <laughs> pretty much in here. So we have just about a cup of broccoli all steamed ready to go. I also like okay. to get those ones, you can find them at like Walmart and you just, they come in a baggie and you oh, stick yeah. it in your microwave and steam it. The steam the freezer bags. section. Yes. Now you can add a little bit of salt and pepper if you want, but I think the teriyaki sauce kind of has enough salt in it yeah, that we're I just not too. gonna add any in right now. So, Kay. all right. Bowl it up. All right, time to put it in. Do you wanna bring it closer? Yes, so I, I will. Spill it in your hats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how good my aim is. Now I also just don't dump in the whole bottle of teriyaki because yes. some people like a lot, some people like a little. My kids don't like a ton, so we kind of just let them kind of choose, pick and choose how much teriyaki sauce they want. Okay, so this is one of my favorite teriyaki sauces. I like the little sesame seeds on top. Mm -hmm. You can get it without, but okay, I okay. love this sauce because of the seeds. So easy an ingredient to buy. So I'll just add our teriyaki sauce on top. You can top this off with green onions or just leave it Ooh. as is. And Nice, usually with my kids, I'll kind of mix in the teriyaki yeah. sauce because if they see a lot on top, then they're not gonna touch it. Yeah. But mix it in, we're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed these easy and affordable Instant Pot dinners. So if you want more easy and affordable Instant Pot dinners, make sure you check out this video right there. And we'll see you guys next Monday. Bye. See ya.